going on YouTube it's your boy Obi Press 12 back with another gameplay commentary for you and today's video is based on a movie the name of the movie is called SAS Bravo 10 this movie is a true is based on a true story it's all partake in the Gulf during the Gulf War in 1999 um, the unit like I said before the unit that went in to the Gulf War was called the SAS Bravo 1-0 okay so being that this gameplay is based on the theme of the of the movie I am rocking the M16A4 with the grenade launcher as well as carrying the field upgrade of the grenader in the movie if you watch the movie which I highly recommend it in the movie these guys were equipped with lots of explosive explosive C4 everything that you can think of to take down what was their main mission and goal was to destroy Saddam Hussein's Scud missiles. All right, so as well as saying all of that, I've got I've came across the information also for based on this movie through Chris Spooner. If you don't know who he is, definitely go check out his channel and look for the SAS Bravo One Zero video it's a weapons loadout guy anyway so let's get into this commentary let's talk about this gun real quick the m16 a4 the m16 a4 basically is a very good gun um i've played with this gun in battlefield 4 for about six hours and um i was looking to open all the camels to reenact the exact same gun that was in the movie Unfortunately, I was not able to get all the camels, but I did get one camel. I forgot the name of it, but it's called Red Something, and it's in the de desert camel section for customization of the gun. And like I said, to pretty much reenact the movie. So, right now, as y'all all know, I am doing a weapons guide for Battlefield 4, and... I'm taking my time with each gun. I'm going through all the positions, mastering each gun, and moving on to the next. And so far, with this gun, the M16A4, I've played with this gun for six hours and already have over 400 kills with this gun. Now, mind you, I've played with the AK, uh, the AK-12 for a week and only have 370 something kills with that gun. I think um I uh, second second master or second star with the AK12 and already I've surpassed the AK12 with the M16 A4 Anyway, back to the movie. In the movie these guys had lack of n lack of no knowledge or map knowledge. Um they went into the they went in behind enemy lines blind and they're Got they were compromised a number of times within the movie. So I said to myself, let me put a second half to the video with me putting attachments on the gun that I will use in order to make that mission successful. Now in the movie, it was never really clear if they were successful in destroying the scud, miss the scud missiles. They were never really clear if they did do that. Um, I do know within the movie, half the Half of the eight guys went missing. I think there was three guys, not half. I, you know, there was three guys that went missing, and two got shot in the line of duty. They were killed in action. I think the total of survivors that came back, um, if I'm not mistaken, from that that mission, were five. There were eight guys, and only five came back. Now, in the movie, they didn't really they didn't really show you all five guys coming back. They only showed three. Um, but they said that five has survived and I'm saying to myself while I was watching the movie I'm saying well the reason why they were not successful is because one they moved by day two they didn't use any type of stealth I mean it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a mission whereas you don't know that I'm there and they totally gave themselves up so many times. Now, granted, they they did a hell of a job 
fighting off tanks and hordes and hordes of um enemies they did a hell of a job but in the end eventually they got captured and i'm saying to myself there was one time when they could have definitely gave saddam hussein a good shafting up the ass in the end when they were moving at night and i could have sworn that that that's what they were going to do but instead they rather they turned around and headed for the border because they one they didn't have any communication back with their comms that was another thing they didn't have any communication back with their comms so they basically they were in there blind anyway the movie was a very good movie the video put out by Chris Spooner was excellent. I'm going to put a link in the description to that video. Chris Spooner, thank you for the information as well. This is your boy, Obi Press 12 from Too Much Clues saying peace. Have a good one. And look out for my next video. I'm out.